What's up guys and welcome to Bavarian Enthusiast TV. My name is Will and I appreciate you checking out this channel. Today I'm going to be covering my experience at the BMW Car Club of America track event that took place last weekend at Virginia International Raceway. I took my track prepped E36 M3 up there and it was a hot weekend. There was a lot to be learned. Before I jump into the content, though, I'd like to invite you to subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. This channel is all about owning and living with classic German sports cars, so air-cooled Porsches and classic BMWs. Let's see what this track experience was like. It was late September in Southside, Virginia at Virginia International Raceway, and it was unseasonably hot. BMW CCA was hosting their Tar Heels and Toes event at VIR, and I was headed up for a two-day track weekend to try out my newly modified 99 E36 M3. Since the last High Performance Driver Education, or HPDE, event, I had put several thousand dollars into the car and had the following items installed. Ground control coilovers, Sparco race seats, roll bar, five-point harnesses, and I had also stripped out all interior behind the driver's seats. Do you think I missed any mods that I should have done? If so, please tell me in the comments. I arrived at VIR on Friday evening and went through the very low-hassle check-in procedure at the front gate. They basically want you to release them from all liability on the way into the track. Once I cleared the checkpoint, I went directly to the Pagoda to check into the event itself. These events are limited to a certain number of people, and candidly, I don't know what that number is. The registration procedure actually begins with an online process that opens several weeks before the event itself. It opens on a set date and time, and if you do not remember to log in and register as quickly as possible on that specific day, you won't get a slot at the event. So once I cleared all the red tape stuff, I headed to the villa where a couple of friends and I were staying. What makes the villa super cool is the fact that they offer second story decks overlook the upper S's at VIR's full course. This setup offers very unique viewing opportunities in the morning and at night, so I definitely recommend staying there. After a good night's sleep, we headed down to the mandatory driver's meeting. The driver's meeting occurs first thing in the morning on both days of the two-day event, and the first meeting is really about orienting the drivers to how the event's going to work. Once that was out of the way, we head to a designated area where we meet our instructors. After I connected with my instructor, I headed over to the garage I had rented for the weekend. The garage has cost $100 per garage per day, and it's worth every penny, especially when the weather is as hot as it was this weekend. The garage provides shade, power supply, and a nice long counter at the front of the garage to store and stack all of your tools. Once we unpacked our tools and other such items, we went about the business of prepping the cars. After getting the car straightened out, I reconnected with my instructor to do a quick tech inspection. It's required to have a shot do a tech inspection and fill out a form for you prior to each track event, but it's also required that the instructor conduct an on-site tech inspection right before you run. BMW CCA organizes run groups into four categories, D, C, B, and A, and students are assigned to their respective run group based on their track experience and expertise. D group is the novice or beginner group, C is the lower intermediate group, B is the upper intermediate group, and A is the expert and instructor group. When it was time for me to line up in the grid, I was admittedly feeling a little jittery. Thankfully though, not nearly as much as I had felt the first time I had tracked the car earlier this year. So let me just share a few key highlights. Number one, coilovers are a must for track work. They transformed my experience. My car no longer felt like a 1980s Cadillac. The handling was much more precise. Two, the first time I stood on the brakes, I knew I had a problem. I was experiencing a strong pulsating coming out of the front end under hard braking. It felt much like warped rotors, but I knew that wasn't the case because my brake system was fine. I found out later that it was my control arm bushings. Thankfully, there's a race shop at VIR called Quantum that can repair such things so you don't lose your entire track event. They were able to replace my bushings for me the evening of day one. Takeaway number three, I was getting passed basically the whole time by higher, higher horsepower cars. That's the downside of having an E36 M3 when you're running the IR's full course. It features two long straights and in each of these segments of the track, modern M3s, M4s, and other higher horsepower cars simply blew me away. Candidly, however, my skills needed to improve in the corners to allow me to make up for this shortcoming. Finally, my tires were revealed to be my weak points. The suspension, seats, and roll cage all tightened up the ability to control the car with much more predictability. However, my Pilot Super Sports simply weren't holding traction as much as I would have liked. I am now planning on upgrading my wheel and tire setup before the next event. Do you have any recommendations for me? Please leave them in the comments. So, if I'm honest with myself, all in all, the event really wasn't all that I had hoped it would be. Between the heat, 
The trouble with my bushings and the fact that my performance really wasn't where I'd hoped it would be, I have to admit that this event really wasn't at the top of my list of most fun car events. That being said, BMW CCA runs a tight, safe event, and I would strongly recommend it to any BMW CCA member interested in tracking their car, regardless of experience level. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're interested in learning what it's like to live with classic Porsches and BMWs, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. See you next time.